Hello everybody and welcome to another mod installation tutorial. Today it is Ray's minimap. Um, it's a really good mod in my opinion, you know, it just gives you a little map in the upper right corner or, well, you can set it to be anything different. I'll show you a bit of the options in a bit when I get in game. So anyway, um, what you're going to want to do is download mod loader and Ray's minimap. I don't actually know if mod loader is important, I think it is, but I didn't look properly, but I'm assuming it is, but I already had it, so it worked, so I'd recommend getting it. Um, and so, uh, yeah, uh, download links in the description. Anyway, so this is, um, okay, what am I doing here? Alright, let's just start. Uh, so, the bin folder, and then Minecraft, so you can open it with WinRAR or 7-zip. So, either one, but 7-zip is free, so I'd recommend that. Uh, so, put it up in there. Alright, so, there's that. If you have a meta-inf folder, all in capital letters, somewhere around here, delete that, because that's important to delete that. So, what you're going to want to do first is, why not with that, right-click, mod loader, open with 7-zip, up here, and so, copy, oh, ah, come on. Copy all the files into here. Yep. And there's mod loaders. Close that. Then copy all the files from Ray's mini map. So all that in here. And it's all in there. And uh, go away, Skype. And that is installed. So um. Now I'm going to show you some features. What do you want, Skype? Hold on. Okay, right, cool. Um, so let's just go into single player world. I'll just go into my free build. I've been doing a little bit of blowing up, so do excuse me. Uh, yeah, I have been messing around a lot with this. So uh, anyway, hold on. Let me just Go away, Skype. I don't like you. Okay, so... As you can see, hold on. There's a uh, raised minimap right in the corner. So if you press M, you can um, see that there's a bunch of stuff. Uh, you know, you can disable it or enable it. Um, you can, if you die, you can have it mark your death point. So there's minimap options, so you can change it round or square. You can have it Zan's minimap or Ray minimap. You know, and if you ch change it to round and have it like that, it looks like a compass. It's pretty cool. Um, you can have it. Uh, you know, GUI scale, auto, so just, you know, yeah, small, normal, large. I like it on large, but, you know, you can have all those sizes. You know, Mac opacity, and you can change the position if you don't like upper right. I like upper right, though. And, you know, there's a bunch of stuff over here. And, you know, you can have it not show the coordinates. You can have it show just simple coordinates. Or, where did it go? Or you can have it show, you know, more advanced coordinates. So that's kind of useful as well. It's also really, um, really useful to um, if you're lost or something. Or I was on this server and I wanted to. Um, they had um, it's a, a prison server and they had a cobblestone mine. And I was thinking maybe they have a tree farm. I looked on the map, saw trees, thought, yep, that's where it is, and that helped me a lot. So it's it's very useful in that sense. Also, you know, if you're lost and everything. And um, there's also, because, I mean, it shows just everything from a, bir a bird's eye view. I think it's a bird's eye view anyway, anyway. Uh, so, and then you can set waypoints, which I think are a bit like warp, so I've never really used them. Key config basically can set what the menu key is, and just a bunch of stuff. Also, um, if you press X, you get a um, very large view of it, and, you know, just explore around and just do a bunch of stuff really cool. I, I like this mod a lot. Um, so anyway, links for everything in the description. I will see you next time. Goodbye. Gah!